How does the deep sea drilling vessel Chiku drill into the sea floor? When the vessel arrives at the drilling site, it receives a satellite signal that helps the vessel move into the exact position required. The vessel has six propellers that rotate a full 360 degrees and keep the vessel in one position, preventing it from drifting due to the wind, waves, or sea current. First, the conductor pipe is installed. As the drill pipes are connected, the conductor pipe and guide are run down to the seafloor. After the conductor pipe penetrates the seafloor, the drill pipe is released and pulled back to the vessel. A large drill bit connected to the bottom of the drill pipe is run down to the seafloor. The drill bit is led down to the bottom of the hole through the conductor pipe. The drill bit rotates and drills the sediment and rock below the seabed. Seawater is sprayed from nozzles on the drill bit to raise the cuttings to the sea floor. After drilling several hundred meters, the drill bit is pulled back to the vessel. A casing pipe about 50 centimeters in diameter is set into the drilled hole to keep it from collapsing. The casing pipe is run down through the conductor pipe and is inserted into the hole using the drill pipe. Cement is pumped into the space between the hole and the casing pipe to fix the pipe in place. After cementing, the drill pipe is released and pulled back to the vessel. The Chiku is equipped with the riser system in order to drill into the earth even deeper. As the riser pipes are added one after another, the blowout preventer is run down to the seafloor. The blowout preventer is connected to a wellhead which is located on top of the casing pipe. The vessel is now connected to the seafloor via the riser pipe. A drill bit, smaller than the one first used, is run down through the riser pipe and casing pipe. The drilling begins. Once the riser pipe has been connected, drilling mud is used instead of seawater. When the target depth is reached, the drill bit is pulled back to the vessel. To drill the hole even deeper, a narrower casing pipe is set in to protect the drilled hole. After the casing pipe has been installed, cement is pumped into the space between the hole and the casing pipe to fix the pipe in place. Again, an even smaller drill bit is run down through the riser pipe and casing pipe and the drilling continues. Repeating this process, the Chiku will drill through the ocean crust to collect fresh, live mantle. This is something that has never been done before. Rotary drilling is used for ocean drilling. Let's look at the features of this method. First, the drill pipes are connected one after another as they run down to the seafloor. The work of connecting the drill pipes and drilling the hole are powered by a motor on the derrick. The drill pipe has a drill bit attached to the bottom. With rotary drilling, the drill pipe is rotated and the drill bit at the end crushes sediment and rock to make the hole. After a while, cuttings accumulate at the bottom and drilling cannot go any further. Seawater or other liquid is then pumped from the vessel down through the drill pipe and is jetted out of the nozzles on the drill bit. 
This liquid current forces the cuttings up to the seafloor. That is rotary drilling. The deep sea drilling vessel Chiku can drill over seven kilometers below the seafloor into the earth. To drill even further below the seafloor, a riser system is used. With the riser system, mud is used instead of seawater. There are several reasons for using mud. First, it has greater viscosity than seawater to force cuttings up from the bottom of a deeper hole. Also, with the increase in pressure at greater depths, the formation pressure becomes much greater than the pressure in the hole filled with seawater. The hole will collapse if a certain differential pressure between the outside and the inside of the hole is reached. Mud has a higher density than water, therefore the pressure inside the hole remains higher, and the hole will not cave in, allowing deeper drilling. The drilling mud is artificially conditioned with various kinds of products, and it is expensive. Discharging it on the seafloor is bad both environmentally and economically. The mud is therefore collected and reused. For this purpose, the riser pipe is connected all the way from the vessel to the seafloor. The drilling mud sprayed out of the drill bit returns to the vessel through the riser pipe together with the cuttings and is collected and recycled at the vessel. Riser drilling not only makes it possible to drill deep into the earth, it is a breakthrough drilling method that is both environmentally and economically sound. Riser drilling will make it possible to drill all the way down into the earth's mantle, a depth never before reached in all of history.